Bluetooth speakers is one of those product categories where there are, there's a whole lot of competition. There are a lot of different things available. You can certainly buy some cheap crap, but I didn't want cheap crap. So I've got this um, Blitzwolf BWF4 to try out. This was actually sent to me by Blitzwolf, so I've got to say thank you to them. What do we have here in the box? Some cables, manual. I might need that. We will see. And the speaker itself. Often when I'm working on things, I have a podcast playing, so um, the, um, the speaker inside my phone doesn't sound particularly good. It'd be cool to be able to play it through something else and um, get some good audio happening. So let's see what this is like. There's a power button on the back. The, it's got a battery built into it as well, so it'll run for a while without even being plugged in. Auxiliary input and a micro USB connection that'd be for charging up the battery. So apart from the controls on the top, that's about it. So let's start it up, see what happens. Wakey wakey. Maybe I've got to press and hold it. There's the power indicator there and I'm not seeing anything. Press and hold. Hey, we've got it coming up green. It's saying that it's alive. Now I assume that it comes up in pairing mode, so let's just give this a try. Go into Bluetooth. Oh, I don't even have it turned on on my phone. So Bluetooth is on. It's got the cars and things there and another headset. Let's see if it finds anything. BWF4, there it goes. Select that. It's now paired. Hey, and it's happy. So now let's pull up a podcast. The Empower, an interview with Rick Alter. Behind the scenes now. Ooh, look at this. I don't even think about it. It's well, listen to this. That where you say like a hard drive dies. Well, I've lost pictures before. I've lost, I've lost music before, whatever. But like, how many? Oh, play, pause. How many redundant? That works on there. We've got volume control on here. There's a phone icon on here. So I assume that I can answer calls. I wonder if there is a microphone built into this. There almost certainly is. There usually is with these sorts of things. Now it probably seems ridiculous that I'm not actually doing an audio test with this, but um, I actually don't really care about music that much. It's a weird thing to say. In fact, I don't have any music at all on my phone. So as long as I can use this for listening to podcasts. These are there in those, I mean, they're, they're, they're always rated, nicely. Machine, rated raid setups or, or how? Seems decently loud and uh, the voices are clear. That's really all I care about, and I can answer phone calls or whatever while I'm listening to them. So what I'll probably do is just leave this on the shelf up in my workshop. That way, uh, whenever I want to listen to podcasts, it'll be nice and loud. I can hear it all around the room, nice and clear, better than on the little phone speaker anyway. So fantastic for my purposes. So um, it seems to be good quality in terms of its build. So I like it.